fellow humans. So this week, as promised, will be a video explaining our full electrical system. I just have to first install our new charge controller. This is what we're currently working with. So I gotta like disconnect that one and install this one. Um, and connect it to our solar panels. And I'm doing this by myself without Jacob and usually Jacob is the one who goes on the roof. So this is stressful. So I'm gonna do that. I'll see you later, hopefully once it's done. I'm up on the roof and I really hate it. Like I really, I'm, oh, my tummy is upset because I'm so anxious. I should have taken my anti-anxiety before this. And my parents dog Louie was just whining the whole time I was trying to get up here. He was so unhappy. He did not like the fact that I was doing this. But um, I'm up on the roof. So there is that. I finished doing oh, connecting all those solar panels together. That was the most terrifying thing I've ever done. I really do hate heights. Um, I should have filmed it because I was probably really funny, but I was really anxious, so I didn't. Um, this is also terrible lighting and, te and a terrible angle. My apologies. Oh, this. Okay, hi. I'm really worked up right now. Uh, talk to you later. Alrighty, hello. I don't. I'm trying to think. I think the last time I spoke to you guys in this video, I was up on the roof reconnecting all the solar panels together and installing the new charge controller. She's installed. Um, and I wired up the breaker box. So, obviously, there is more to our electrical stuff than just this back panel, the batteries, and the solar panels. We still are gonna... Oh my gosh. Talk like a normal person, Becca. We still have to, like, wire up all our outlets, all our switches, all our lights and everything. But this is, like, the bones of the operation back here. This is, like... Honestly, I think it feels like the bones and the meat. Everything else feels like the skin. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna stop that train of thought. But this is the base of everything. This is what's controlling everything, so I'm gonna explain it. There are still a few kinks that need to be worked out, but I wanna get back to posting regularly on Mondays, and it's Monday, so I'm gonna not wait to figure out the kinks and just film this and then update you guys in other videos. But. So this is what it's looking like right now. It's gonna be a little hard to show you guys just because of all the, um, like the boards and stuff, but I'm gonna explain it all to the best of my abilities. This was Jacob's kind of domain. Also, I'm sorry about the bad lighting. It is super sunny outside, but it's also windy, so I had to close the door and now the lighting is kind of weird, but this was Jacob's domain. So he really should be the one explaining this to you, but he's in New Hampshire and I'm here. Should I have also like taken a bunch of notes and written everything down and like made a script for this? Yeah, for sure. Did I do that? Oh, hell no. No, I'm just gonna hope I remember it all and explain it to you. But here we go. Okay, so all the like components and stuff are from Renergy. I'll have everything linked down below that we used. We have up on the roof, we have 600 watts of solar, of solar. We have six 100 watt solar panels from Renergy. It's the like, I think we, we got the 100 watt ones, but the, oh, this lighting is really so bad. I'm so sorry. We got the um, compact size, so it would take up less of our roof because we want, well, I wouldn't say we. Jacob wants a roof deck. I'm scared of heights, so I don't think I'll ever use it, but Jacob wants it, and he wants as much of the roof to be deck as possible. So. That is up on the roof. We have a separate video of us installing our solar panels, which I will also, well, why not? I'll put that one down below too. Go check it out. Uh, I'm really proud of it. So is Jacob. And then we have two 200 amp hour lithium ion. Okay, so we have our batteries. We are missing. There's supposed to be a fuse right here, but the fuse blew and the new one is not coming until Wednesday, but I wanted to film this video anyways. So there will be a fuse there. Um, so our batteries, and then we have our battery monitor shunt. Allows us to have this screen to monitor our batteries. 
at some point we'll put this um, in like a wall or something, probably near our kitchen or a couch, just so that we can look at it really easily. Uh, we also have the app. Renergy has an app where you can look at all this stuff as well, but this will be super easy to just at a glance be like, oh, cool, we got power, that's sick. <laughs> okay, so the solar panels come into our charge controller, which is giving me error codes, and I don't know why, and I've tried everything, so I gotta fiddle with that some more, but comes into our Renergy Rover 60 amp MPPT charge controller. Again, this will all be linked down below. I will also link down below what resources we used to get here because we knew absolutely nothing about electrical stuff. And despite both of our grandpas being electricians, my grandpa was an electrician and then become, became a dentist. Jacob's grandpa was an electrician all his life. Despite that, you know, it turns out it's not genetic. You can't just like magically know all this stuff. So we had to learn all of it. So it was difficult, but you know, we got there in the end, I think. So we have our 400 amp hours of battery. We have our charge controller and we also have our DC to DC charger, which still needs to be hooked up to the alternator, but we're not worrying about that right now because we're not driving the bus anywhere. And all of that stuff is connected to our first positive bus bar, which is connected to this on off switch so that we can turn on and off our system so we can fix any electrical problems that may arise without, you know, electrocuting ourselves. And then this is also connected to our second bus bar, which is where our inverter is connected to. Everything is connected to one negative bus bar because apparently you don't need two of those. I don't know. Jacob was in charge of this. He is the smarter one in this situation. So our inverter, we have a 2000 watt inverter. So the inverter, if you're unaware of what an inverter does, it takes our DC current and turns it into AC current. Which, I, now that I say that the C in those, AC and DC, DC, the C stands for um, current. So I just said current twice, but whatever. Um, so the batteries are DC, but for like our fridge, our water heater, all of our outlets, it we need AC. So that is what the inverter is for. So our inverter is wired up to our breaker box. We currently just have three breakers. We have one specifically for our water heater, one for all of our outlets, and then one for our fridge. Our fridge is getting plugged into an outlet, but we wanted to keep that isolated uh, on a different circuit than our, our other outlets because it's gonna be only used for our fridge. I wanted the breaker box to be like really neat on the inside and it's just not as neat as I wanted it to be, but that, you wire it up just like a regular breaker box from what I can tell. So you got your neutral, neutral ground and hot or live or whatever you want to call it. So the only thing wired up currently is our hot water heater because it's right there. And that was honestly a pain in the butt to wire up. Not all of our um, like electrical stuff is going to be AC current. So we also have a fuse box, a fuse panel that is going to have all the fuses for our lights and our water pump. And that is not wired up to the inverter because it just runs off of DC. Yeah, so that's connected. That is also wired up to our um, second positive bus bar so that when we turn on and off the system, the fuses turn off and stuff. But we have nothing wired up into it yet because obviously we have no lights yet. We have pretty, this is all the electrical stuff we have. Yeah, but I, honestly, I don't think I did a very good ex explanation. I did not explain the wires or the fuses or anything like that because you should not watch me for a how-to because I am not a professional. There are people out there on the internet that have a way, that know way more about this and do a way better job explaining this. If you just wanna watch someone struggle at building things, I'm your gal. Also, if you need inspiration to know that like you can go from knowing basically just how to use a power drill and building a whole bus, you should also, you should watch me because I started this project only knowing how to use a power drill, so. But that is our electrical uh, setup right now. I will have everything 
we used down below because we followed a few different people and I did like have to sort through of like well which things do we need which things do we not need for our size system all of that and it was pretty simple I have a the previous video is how we wired everything up I'll also link that down below which was super actually super fun because it involved a blowtorch so but if you're intimidated by your electrical system I would say just do more research than you think you need to and find diagrams because for me the diagrams were the most helpful like I didn't Jacob enjoyed watching other people's videos like I think he watched Kelson Jay's video like seven times I enjoyed looking at diagrams because I found like videos like this they, they moved around too much and it was confusing but the um diagrams don't move you just kind of follow where the wires go and figure it all out because you need different gauges you need different lo wire lugs you need all this stuff but we pretty much have like I think only three sizes of wires it's not it looks really it looks way more intimidating than it ends up being it's very intimidating because it is electrical and that and that in and of itself is scary because you know electricity is dangerous if not like handled properly but thankfully Jacob and I's grandpas passed on their electrical knowledge to our dads so we do know like we had that our parents help with that but I, we, I, so we just went with Renergy because it seemed like really good quality their website was super helpful we went and did they have like different solutions so you can go to a tab on their website that says and you can kind of see what size system you would want like for us we have a mid-sized bus our bus is not a full 40 feet but it's not a short bus and it's just going to be the two of us it's not a family we're not doing induction cooktop we're not doing an air conditioner so we didn't need the only reason we have, like, some people are like, wow, that's a really big system for, like, how few appliances you're going to have. We want to be able to be off-grid, not driving. Like, we want to be able to drive somewhere in the middle of nowhere, park up for, like, two to three weeks at a time. So we, and, like, be able to do that even if every day isn't sunny. Like, so we wanted a bigger system. Like, some people only need 400 watts of solar but then some people need a thousand watts of solar depending on what they're doing so we have 600 which i think is decent i don't think we'll end up running into an issue with that but yeah i would say follow the diagrams and follow more experienced people because i'm gonna be honest i'm not make i didn't start this youtube channel to be helpful i just started it to be fun and maybe some of them will end up being helpful but i don't know if this one is some of the videos maybe will, I'm hoping will be helpful, but I don't think this one is because if Jacob was here, he would explain it so much better and he will be here for his spring break. So maybe I'll do another one where he explains it a lot better. But for now, this is my explanation. Solar panels to charge controller. Batteries to charge controller. The charge controller sends the solar power to the batteries and that's how it charges. The DC to DC battery charger allows the batteries to charge while the bus is driving which is awesome all of that gets turned on and off so that we can manage the system we can fix the system at any point the inverter turns our dc electricity into ac electricity so that we can run things like regular outlets and our water heater and all of everything else that is on dc is in our fuse box AC is in our breaker box which is just like a regular house we bought a very small or small breaker box because we are not a regular house but yeah that's pretty much it basically things charge the batteries batteries power other things and then the inverter changes the electricity that we need it to change electricity for dummies okay well that is it for this week's video I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything will be linked down below. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And follow us on other social medias if you want more daily updates. Bye!